Hey everybody and welcome to another Hangouts on Air. My name is Steph and I'm joined by my colleague Tony today. Hello. Hi. We're delighted today to talk to you about creating videos within your AdWords account. Tony is going to be talking to us about the key benefits of reaching your advertisers with videos and how to use targeting options to make sure that you get the best view. Before we get started, just a couple of things. If you're watching this live from the Google Plus page, you'll notice that there's a question and answers feature just to the right of the page. Please feel free to ask any questions as we go along and we'll make sure that we get to them at the end. If you're watching this live after the, the if you're watching this on the recording after the live event on YouTube, you'll notice that we've put some timestamps in the description box below so you can jump straight through to the section that you're interested in. And last thing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is where we post all of our Hangouts and quick tip videos. So even if you miss a live event, you can come back here, watch the recordings and learn more about AdWords. Okay. Let's get started. Perfect, Steph. So, Tony, why should I advertise with video? Well, it's a great opening question, Steph. Really excited to talk about video. I mean, firstly, we've got to start with YouTube, all right? Over 4 billion viewers per day. I can't think of a better way to get your message out there to the customers who are watching a lot of videos on YouTube. It's great to put your video ads right in front of them and make sure you've got your correct targeting. The exactly. other thing is uh, Google Display Network. We're talking about mm -hmm. over 89% online viewers on the Google Display Network, you have a real opportunity there, again, to get your message out, and not only get your message out, get it out to the right audience, to make sure that you've got the correct targeting, and with, with video campaigns, you're able to do that. Perfect. With Google AdWords for video, you can do three things that are really important. Firstly, you can reach the right viewer at the right price. You can pay only when a user decides to watch your ad, which is awesome, because then they're really engaged. Exactly. And then, obviously, you can manage your campaigns with ease, which we'll be taking a look at in a little bit, Steph. Okay. The good thing also about advertising with video is that you don't need a big budget anymore, okay? It's very easy to get started. The other thing is, of course, that you can have ultimate control over your targeting groups, focusing on, for example, specific websites, topics and interests. And again, Steph, we're going to look at that in a little bit. Sounds good. Perfect. So, Tony, could you just talk us through how we would set up a video campaign in our AdWords account? Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to go ahead right now and do a demo, and I'll be able to answer uh, any of those questions we had right now in practice. So, let's get started here. Okay. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to go ahead into your all uh, in the bottom left of your AdWords. I'm in here already, okay? And so, for the premise of this video, okay, or for the premise of this Hangout, we're going to take it that we're talking about a basketball blog, we have a video. We're trying to drive young basketball fans in Ireland because that's where we're You do love basketball. I love it. Greatest <laughs> game out there. Steph, exactly. Right? Very surprising for an Irishman, I know. So we're going to take a look at uh, we're going to take a look at that and really try and drive young basketball fans to the website. So okay. I'm going to click on plus campaign right here. Okay, we're going to start this off. We've got campaign number two. So we're going to change the name up. Um, let's call it Hoops Fans. All mm -hmm. right. We're going to set a budget here as per normal for our daily budget, $10 per day. Okay, so and very then, similar. Yeah, and then we've got we've got three different networks that we're going to look at. The three are YouTube search network, which includes um, results for search queries and making sure that you've got the in-display video ads, which we'll take a look at in just a second. Uh, then you've also got the YouTube videos network. That is channels and videos on YouTube or embedded videos, and these can run both the in-display and in-stream ad formats. And then finally, you'll see here we've got the Google Display Network, collection of websites that partner with Google, YouTube, and other specific Google properties. So we'll talk a little bit about more, more on that, and also you'll see some more information at the end in the description. So moving on, again, I mentioned we want to focus on Ireland, so we're going to click on Ireland. We're going to come down here, and I've got my video open on this other tab right here, fantastic video of, a, of an amazing <laughs> dunk. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that into this section here. And you'll see what's great about the setup phase is here, Steph, that it gives you all the details and it gives you this preview. So you'll see here you've got in-stream on the right, um, and you can see there that's what's going to happen. So with in-stream, the great thing is it's like a TV-style ad, and what happens is that's going to play before, during, or after another video from YouTube. So viewers see five seconds of your promoted video, and they can keep watching. But you only pay, and this is one of the, this is one of the benefits of, advertising on video. You only pay when a viewer watches at least 30 seconds. All right? Okay. So really important. Then you have the end display. 
slightly different now because the ads appear alongside other YouTube videos or on websites on the Google Display Network that match your target audience. And that's the really important thing here, Steph. We're not talking about anyone and everyone. We're talking about a focused audience that you want to reach. So that's it pretty much covered for those formats. Again, you can choose to focus on one or the other by selecting this option. We're going to stick with automatic. Okay. Now, we're working on our, on our headline here just like a regular, uh, regular ad. So I'm going to put in here, Irish kid dunks. All right, pretty eye catching. <laughs> there we're gonna have um, crazy dunk over two people, which is which is what it was, which is what the video was about. And then we're gonna have a nice little sort of call to action. Check out more videos here. All right, I'm really happy with that. And then you can of course choose your thumbnail. Then we're gonna put in our display URL. Okay, you'll see that comes right into the destination. Of course, you can specify um, a different destination if you like. We're happy with all that. Then we're going to go save and continue. So in the next stage, Steph, the main thing that, that you've got to look at here is your targeting. Now, for the sake of time, we're going to look at one targeting group today. Okay. But what I'd advise is that you think about setting up different targeting groups. That way you can actually test your different targeting groups, see which targeting group is working well, which is more engaged, and of course, which we'll look at again at the end of this, is which audience is really converting through your video. Okay. So for this one, we're just going to have young Irish fans, all right? So we're going to go down here. Now, again, I set my cost per view. For the, for the sake of this, we're going to go with uh, 0 0.15, okay, so 15 cents. Okay. And again, I mentioned young. Now, I'm going to take away some of these. Now, of course, I don't want to be targeting older people. I, I consider myself still young, so I'm in that 25 <laughs> to 34 bracket. I'm going to keep that there. So. <laughs> I'm going to keep the unknown. That's for maybe when we're not entirely sure who's viewing the video, but I prefer to keep that in so I don't miss out on important traffic. Very good. Okay, so I've got that. And then you've got your option for interests, all right? I said I want to target basketball fans. So let's see if we have it in here for an interest. Excellent. So interests are those users that we would deem to be basketball fans based on their previous search history, okay? okay. So I'm going to add that in there. Now, of course, you have a, a variety of options underneath here, which I recommend that you sort of read about, learn about, and decide what works for you. Topics are really those placements to do with, um, certain websites. So I might have a basketball as a topic, and then again, we're really focusing on that. Great. Okay, and of course, placements, keywords, etc. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. Save and continue, or sorry, save targeting group. And you'll see that that is once my computer sets up. Perfect, that we're all good to go. The video is under review, but I'm confident that it'll make it through. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for going through that with us, Tony. So I guess just a really good question that everyone wants to know. How can I measure or check that my video campaign is working well for me? Yeah, well, I think with all advertising, it does come down to measuring the success. All right, mm -hmm. There's a few ways within video that you can do that. If you look on this screen right now, you'll see that we have, of course, you've got your view rate. Okay, so of those impressions that you've gained through the video campaign, how many people have actually stayed on to view the video? All right, That's a really mm -hmm. good first initial insight that you'll get right here on the dashboard. Then, of course, you've got your CTR as you would in other sort of search and display campaigns. Mm -hmm. CTR, click through it. How many people, or what percentage of people rather, have decided to click through to visit your website? Okay. But Steph, we're talking about advertising on AdWords here. It always comes down to conversions. How many people are coming onto this video, viewing the video, and then converting on your site? So it's really important to have that conversion tracking set up to make sure that you're tracking that. So when you have your various targeting groups that you're testing out, that you make sure that you're seeing, okay, where should I invest my money? Where am I having the most success? So those are sort of the main three things. And then there's even more um, opportunities when you go into the video where you can actually look at and see up to what point did the actual uh, viewers stay on to. So did they watch up to 25%? Did they watch up to 50%? And that's why we always recommend try and keep your videos reasonably short, maybe up to one minute, one minute 30. That way your viewers will stay engaged for longer and you have that data there, Steph. Great tip.
Perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, Tony. That about wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is where we have all of our regular updates and videos and quick tips. And I guess just the final thing, don't forget if you have any questions at all, whether it's on video campaigns or anything else related to AdWords, you can give us a call. You can chat in for 24 hours or get in touch through any major social network and we'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a good day. Thanks Bye you. now. Take care.